Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box. Today I'm going to show you a new device from our friends at Audio Codes. It's the C470 HD, and it's a native Microsoft Teams phone. First, I'm going to give you a tour of the phone itself. You'll notice straight away this one doesn't actually have a dial pad. Uh, that seems to be a new trend by some of the vendors. Poly and Crustron, notably, uh, have released some handsets that don't have a dial pad or physical buttons on the phone. Um, instead, they, they go with the touch screen and actually utilize the Teams UI that actually has a built-in dial pad anyway. Um, and then they'll have, you know, so soft keys down the bottom. So, so down the bottom, you've got a headset button. So if you do plug in a headset or actually have a Bluetooth headset, you can switch between um, handset, speakerphone and headset there. You've also got a mute button, a dedicated transfer button, which is really good. Uh, you've got a back button and then you've got volume up and down and hold. And then you've got kind of a home button th there in the middle. It, of course, has a handset and a curly cord, just like you'd expect, and a nice big screen. Let's spin it around the back. You got DC power here. It will run on PoE as well, but you do have DC power just in case you wanted to run it on Wi-Fi. It will actually use Wi-Fi to sign into the, to the network and sign into Teams that way. And that way you can just power it over uh, a DC in a hard to reach area where you'd maybe not have any structured cabling. It also has uh, an ethernet port as you'd expect um, that will plug directly into the network and that of course accepts PoE. It also has a PC port. Most phones these days actually have ethernet in from PC and out to the network. It means you only need one network socket to actually power your phone but also give internet to your phone and your and your PC or laptop. And it's got an auxiliary port I'm not sure exactly what it's for. I'll look it up and see if I can figure that out. Around the side, you do have one USB-A port. Um, I guess that's for, for connecting headsets or maybe even Bluetooth dongles. Down the bottom, you've got a very, very big speaker bar and you've got a microphone built in. I believe it's here. Um, so you can actually use it with hands-free speakerphone if you wish. Oh, there's actually one more port I just spotted. It's a cable lock so you can actually use a security cable and tie it to the desk um what's remarkable about it the whole device is actually very very thin you can see it's it's just this kind of svelte touch screen surface area uh, which i think makes it look quite elegant in terms of form factor it's it actually takes up uh, very little room on the on the table it looks like a fairly decent sized phone it's got a very big screen and that's now I'm going to actually plug it into the network and fire it up and see how we get on. So I've just connected a, an Ethernet cable. You can see we've got the Audio Codes logo there. So this is actually the first run experience for the phone. Okay, first things first, it's asking for a main language. You can choose from English United States or English United Kingdom or a bunch of other languages besides. So being in the UK, I'm going to pick English UK. Then it asks you to confirm, are you sure? Then it's actually starting the, the Teams phone software itself. Right, and after that, you have a choice to actually sign in. So I'm actually plugged into PoE, so I can go straight through to the sign-in experience. You've also got this little cog here. So if you hit that, you have actually get at some of the additional settings behind the scenes. So you can change your display, your sound, date and time. You can actually connect to directly to Wi-Fi. So if I didn't have a POE or I didn't have network here and I was just plugged into to DC mains, I can access the Wi-Fi and then sign in that way. You've also got some accessibility settings, Bluetooth, as I said, Bluetooth is built in. You've got the ability to uh, enable things like power sa uh, savings. You can reboot the phone, get into to, um, some security features. You can actually disable the touchscreen, which is probably a very bad idea. And of course, you can go through and change the language and get out the about screen. You've also got the device administration a box down there to get at some extra settings behind the scenes that you wouldn't normally need as a, as a typical user. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to press sign in and it's got a connection to the company portal. So I'm actually going to choose sign in from another device. And I've got my phone here. I've gone to aka.ms slash device login. I'm just going to enter this code. And then go through and actually log in. So you can see it's actually checking uh, for credentials, uh, registering with the company portal. Now it's going through and verifying a few things, getting things like the policies and inbound provisioning. And then last step, 
just signing it in. So now it says have meetings and calls with audio and video. So I'm just going to press got it. And that's it. We're in. So you can see it's a nice big bright screen itself. You've got the clock and date here. You've got the um, got the user and their phone number. That's a fake phone number, so don't bother calling it. Uh, and you've got the, the other buttons. So you can get out calls. And it takes you into the calls app. And then from there, you can choose one of your, your numbers or search. Uh, you can access call park and all of that kind of thing. You can also go uh, and uh, switch directly between the other settings here and get out the meetings, for instance, or go back home. You can go back home and then do the reorder thing. So, for instance, people, you might want to add people up on the main screen, press save. And then you've got home, calls, people, calendar, and then, of course, that more thing. Nice and responsive touch screen. From here, you can go and get at uh, some additional settings, for instance. You can connect it to a device and use that better together experience. Uh, you can enable hot desking. You can get at the what's new menu. Um, you can also set your, your status, however you wish. And if you go into settings, you can get at all these additional settings, um, set up things like your profile, uh, do your call forwarding and those kind of things. And then you can access and change to dark theme. So I'm just going to change to dark theme because I quite like that. I think with a black phone, the dark theme is perhaps maybe a little bit too dark. Uh, maybe it's the angle I'm at. But I think it does actually look quite sexy anyway. So I'm just going to stick with that. So placing a call is, as you'd expect, pretty easy. So I'm just going to phone myself. Right, so now I'm going to call with myself. I uh, just called myself on my mobile. From here, you can get out mute and everything on the soft keys on the screen itself, or you can just use the soft keys down the bottom. This one down the bottom indicates that we're on speakerphone. If I had a headset plugged in, I could switch to headset there. I can also mute the device, place the call on hold. I can have a back button to get back to the home screen, and I can get out volume up and down from there. I've also got a dedicated transfer button, so if I wanted to hit transfer, I can then go and search for a user and quickly transfer to them. So because I initiated a transfer, I was on hold. So now I'm just going to press resume. So as you can see, the touch screen is nice and responsive. I'm just going to go ahead and end that. And it will take me back to the calls app probably. And then from there, I can just press the home button and it takes me back home. So one thing that's different about this device in amongst all the other Teams devices and Teams phones is there isn't a dedicated Teams button. The button in the middle acts as a Teams button, but it doesn't actually have bear the Teams logo itself. Not a real problem. If you do get a call, it's quite obvious that you are receiving a call. You can press a soft key to actually answer it. Uh, you can answer on speakerphone or headset, or you can just lift the handset itself. So not having a dedicated Teams button, I don't think is a particular issue. So there's not much more to say about the phone itself. The phone is merely a vessel for the actual Teams phone application. Uh, the use of touchscreen and the responsiveness, I think, is very good. In terms of management for these devices, the minute you sign in, the device is added to the Teams Admin Center, and you can get at some certain settings, reboot the phone, and things like that. Audio Codes also has some additional management capability. You can SSH to the phone in the back end. There isn't a web UI that I'm aware of, much the same as all the other Audio Codes devices but you can actually use their device management software to actually manage the phone estate anyway. So all in all, I think this is a very good addition to the Audio Codes phone range and actually the device ecosystem itself. The C470 has great styling, a very responsive touchscreen, plenty of horsepower in the device. The form factor itself being more of an upright phone doesn't take as much room on your desk as some other phones. So if you're an Audio Codes house, I think the C470 HD is definitely a device you'd want to consider to keep the support and management under one umbrella. You can manage the device through the Teams admin sensor or using the Audio Codes tools in the phone manager software. The lack of a physical dial pad might be a problem for some users, but if you actually needed a dial pad, you can get out that with one button press. Uh, either go through headset or speakerphone or actually just lift the handset. You can dial and press call to actually place that call. So I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem other than people that actually need that tactile feel. If you do need that tactile feel, then ID Codes has got you covered with the C450 HD. And you've also got some additional options on the C450 uh, with adding a sidecar, for instance, for that front of house or reception users. And that's really all I've got to say today. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks very much.